right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. NBA 2K21, it's been a heck of a ride so far, man. We got, man, we ain't got that much news for you, but we got some things that will help you improve your game, man. We got Nate actually retiring from wagering. We got a hot zone hunter. We got catch and shoot and how that helps you out. And uh, we got an event schedule coming up for you guys. So make sure you like the video. Let's get this video over a thousand likes in the first 24 hours, man. Like nobody's liking the video. Y'all are doing a great job. And now we still in the three, 400 and the video is not getting recommended. So like literally nobody sees the videos if y'all don't like them. And also go back and watch that video on the shot stick being too strong, man. I'm telling you that joint is hilarious. It's really just a gameplay of me just, just getting buckets and stuff like that, man. And I did some editing and cool editing. Please go watch that video. Let's get that video to, to a 1,000 likes and at least 5,000 views. Because, I mean, I edited this joint for like five hours, bro. And nobody watched it. That sucks. But anyway, other than that, um, let's just get right into it. Dino! Make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, bro, it's 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 a very crazy world out there today, man. And you know, like I said, the first story is Nate X, and he's saying that he's retiring from um pretty much from wagering, man. And here's the tweet right here. He just says, "Not wagering on this broken behind game on God." Don't ask me again. And uh, this comes off the heels of him playing the game last night. He was doing a little wager with Jaden or what have you. You know, they cool. They cool. That's his. You know, they clan members, all that good stuff they cool but the thing is they were playing the game and um you know one of the guys uh nate x's teammate ended up doing the speed boost glitch and once they did the speed boost glitch it was all over man like the speed boost glitch is so crazy because you hit them with i don't even know how to do it all i know is you see it all over twitter just just you know just put it in, in twitter or whatever and uh you gonna see somebody hit a size up or something and it's a cross and it's like they go from one side of the court to the other pew and it's like Speedy Gonzalez style. There's nothing that you can actually do about it. You can't catch up. You're not gonna get a contest. You won't be able to do anything pretty much. So that's what that glitch is. And because of that, he is like, either I'm gonna have to ban that and uh, you know ban that out of all the wages, or I'm just not gonna wager again. But he's doing the smart thing. Just don't wager again, man. Because on this, on a game where you can't even really control the outcome and somebody can engineer a way to do something the same way every time and there's really nothing you can do about it, I wouldn't bet on that game either. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So, smart move. Hey, he's one of the first people to come to come to his senses in this whole thing. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. Nate is a pretty frugal uh, character anyway, man. So, you know, he, he ain't gonna, he ain't not into really throwing money away just for no reason. And uh, you know, even if it's for entertainment and you know to get the content out there. But like I said, I can find a better way to get the content out there. I think he's come to that conclusion. Also, it's like, bro, you don't stand to really gain anything from from the wager i mean you want a little money but you're gonna get that money anyway because of because of your stature and who you are so it is what it is uh up next we got the nba 2k insider news or what have you man and they're saying that uh you know here's a little event schedule right here and uh whoa whoa, whoa that's my xbox my bad uh the event schedule is saying xbox doing an update right now i don't know why gold rush october 4th and uh you know this is something i guess they just put that out the october 4th will be a uh, gold rush that's when we'll see the first gold rush action you won't see me in any of that gold rush action and y'all already know why because gold rush is normally for yeah you got it boosters and glitches and and uh you know you're gonna get people kicking you out of different stages and then you're gonna have people in the stage with people just throwing games to them so that's not something that i can be a part of and you know normally anybody that wins those games they got somebody on their squad that's helping them out or something like that like you know helping them out so you know like if you don't have a helper you're probably not gonna win gold rush man but uh just just letting y'all know y'all can be aware of that up next nba 2k toots man he's got a video on catch and shoot and how it helps you out Go watch that video, man, because he, like he's saying, catch and shoot can help you be able to hit more shots, hit more greens, all that stuff, man. Let me tell you what I've noticed about catch and shoot, to be honest with you. What I've noticed about catch and shoot, especially with using the shot stick, is this. When you use catch and shoot and you have the shot stick, it gives you a more consistent catch and it's much closer to that yellow area that you have down there. That's what I've noticed about catch and shoot when you use the uh, shot stick. If you don't use the shot stick, 
I think catch and shoot just gives you a more consistent catch where you don't have to catch it and put it in the pocket first and shoot it. It's like it speeds that up a little bit. So if you if you've not been using catch and shoot, you know, go over there, check out that video, and 2K Toots will pretty much tell you if that's gonna be a good bass for you or not. Like I said, it definitely has improved my game. Uh, you know, playing with Brute, cause like for the longest, the only two badges I had was, like I got 19 badges out of 30 right now, but in the beginning, I only had catch and shoot, and I had um, range extender. I put range extender on first, and then I put catch and shoot on. Once I did that, I was able to shoot. Then I had to put on dead eye, cause people like to just jump at you, cause this is NBA 19, so they jump at you, get the crazy closeouts, and all that stuff. But, you know, other than that, uh, you know, I thought, I mean, it's a good badge. Like, I think that's one of the most necessary badges. I put that on before I put on Hot Zone Hunter. I put it on before I put on on uh, uh, Corner Specialist or any of that stuff. I put it on before I did any of that, and I feel like it's it, it's probably one of the badges that helps me the most because it pretty much normalizes the catch uh, that you get off of your, off of your point guard's passes, passes. Up next, we have... Um, we got NBA 2K Lab, and they're talking about Hot Zone Hunter and how it can help your percentages, uh, you know, when you're using it. Pretty much, they're saying, you know, use it. <laughs> Pretty much, they're saying use it. Like I said, I got the link to the to the actual video down in the description, but they're just letting you know what the percentages are, everything like that. They're pretty much just saying, yo, use the badge, and uh, they're going to give you the recommended levels and all of that good stuff that you can use it on. Like I said, get over there, get that video liked up and all of that stuff because they do some really good work in NBA 2K Lab, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like when you when you go over there, a lot of the um, data that they have, now a lot of the data that they have does not apply to me because a lot of the data that they have is for button, uh, button shooters. I know that there are not that many real uh, stick shooters out there in the game right now unless they're turning the actual meter off, but it would be cool if they could get some, get some data together for the stick user. I really think that with the stick users, it probably wouldn't help them that much because like if you're shooting with the stick and then you're doing the right time and then you got all this stuff rocking and rolling, um, you're probably going to shoot very close to a, to like 100% or what have you. So I really don't, I, I don't know how much that really helps unless you don't have a, a sufficient rating because if you don't have a sufficient rating, it really doesn't matter what you do. You're not going to hit shots it's just it's just not gonna happen now you see all of us use the stick and we hit pretty much all our shots uh it's just like we only miss what like one shot that game why is brutal on my screen wicked and me what is this let's see what the video is man look man why is he up here this dude just stalking me bro i know you want hair like me i know you want these no want luscious locks and you trying to get get swole like come on man get off my screen brute but anyway brute got an awesome video on the ticino um the Ticino scammer thing with the step back racks i got one too but brute video was a little bit more in depth a little bit more insightful because he has a business degree and he you know he's like yo we seen all this stuff in business bro we seen all of the uh you know we see all the stuff man we seen all this uh, I'm, I'm gonna let this week this week ass intro roll while i'm doing this we seen all this stuff in business before we seen this in our neighborhoods everybody knows this scheme that these guys are running i'm not gonna do the do the volume because because i don't i don't i'm, I'm hating is what i'm doing uh, but you know, like everybody's seen this scheme before, and if you haven't, you probably ain't from, like I'm, I'm not saying you ain't from the street, but you just probably don't have that much experience out there in them streets. Oh wait, this is my, I hate this part of the video by the way, that was dope, I ain't gonna lie. Look at that, bro! Ooh, look at that, y'all see what he is, he's a stick shooter! Anyway, alright, 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 we're gonna get him off the screen. Anyway, but like I said though, bro, um... He did an awesome video. Go check that out. That link will be in the description. And that's all I got for you guys today, man. Um, Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours. Also, go back and watch my video, Shot Stick Too Strong. It's 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 an awesome video, man. Please, you're going to be happy that you did. It's freaking hilarious. And I'm going to y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys, speak! In commits, it don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't fine. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I could give a hard transplant to a giant, I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak, God speak. We good.